Hello there, Whipper here, and welcome back to another mod showcase. And today I'm going to be showing you a mod called the Nature Reborn mod, which actually adds natural disasters into Minecraft. And please remember to leave a like, it really does help out. Just leave a like for the amount of destruction that I'm bound to cause. Anyway, we're going to start off by actually getting an item which you use to actually spawn these things. Of course, you can just wait in survival mode for one to spawn naturally, but they're quite rare, so they're not going to happen all the time. And if you really want to see one, the best way is just to pop yourself into creative, go to the tools part of your creative inventory and then get this item called item disaster spawner name very inventive name i know and it looks like a lava bucket um but since it's like a developer item i i can understand it but anyway once you've actually got this thing to actually use it you just right click in the air and you can see there's four different disasters we've got volcano meteorite earthquake and sinkhole and i think i'm going to start off with a sinkhole now what i'm going to do for this video is i'm going to first do it on a normal world like this one just a normal naturally generated vanilla world to show you what they look like and what they do and then i'm going to swap over to some kind of town or city and we're going to destroy some buildings because that's a ton of fun to do but anyway let's start off with the sinkhole so all you need to do to use it select it and then right click on the ground and look at that we've got a sinkhole starting to form uh, so all the blocks are being pulled into the center of the sinkhole we've got like a torrent of blocks falling down and we've even got some cobblestone that appears to have spawned <laughs> anything in this area is just being decimated even the water's getting um, dragged into the hole the water's just being like evaporated it's all going I don't know what's happening there uh, but at the bottom of these um, sinkholes there's always a lava lake that spawns and also these sinkholes come in a variety of different sizes some of them can actually be tiny some of them can be huge so uh, don't like uh, depend on the actual sinkholes not being too big nothing is safe when you spawn one of these things I mean I've seen them get bigger than this it's a crazy crazy disaster I mean look at this lucky pigs lucky pigs is all I can say well not anymore this is Sparta! Okay, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I even missed, it didn't even fall down. Go down, go down there, piggy! Uh, oh, he's still alive. Oh well, lucky pig. It's your lucky day, pig. But yeah, so that's the sinkhole. What are we gonna go on to next, though? So what we got next here? Uh, not gonna do the volcano, because that takes forever. Let's do the earthquake next. Now, the earthquake is actually one that surprised me, because I was expecting, like, violent ground shaking, or something like that, like, the whole world to shake, but it doesn't actually do that. Pretty much, what I'm gonna say is it's just a ravine generator, and you'll see what I mean. So if we just right-click on the ground with this item, like so, Look at it, it's going to start forming a massive crack or um, gaping chasm kind of thing. And yeah, it's just going to open up gradually. Uh, the depth of it varies and you randomly get TNT explosions, which confused me extra as well. I mean, what kind of earthquake in real life, what would it be on the Richter scale to make a crack this big yet not have any um, shaking of the ground? I don't really understand that. There was actually an older version of this mod where... Um, the ground did shake, uh, I think that was back in Minecraft beta, this is a really old mod, and it's only just been updated to 1.6, not 1.7 yet, 1.6, but look at the size of this um, ravine it's just generated, and that's why I'm calling it the ravine generator, I mean look at this thing, it's huge, <laughs> it was a real shame though that the ground doesn't shake, that, that would be really cool if the ground shook, but... Currently, that's not actually in the mod, which is a bit of a shame. But look at this. Uh, we've got random pillars of stone that go up for miles. And look, we found a dungeon. Uh, the chest has been destroyed, but, you know, it's a dungeon. <laughs> oh, dear. And what's that? I think that's a stalagmite. Anyway, so we've got lava at the bottom here, some lava. And it's just a massive ravine that is generated from this earthquake item. Uh, not really an earthquake, but still cool and very destructive if you were to do this in a city, which you'll probably see later. But what have we got next? I think next we're going to do the meteorite. Right. Now, uh, let's go over here for, to spawn this one, in the middle of these rose fields, uh, spawn this down, uh, where are the particles, there they are. So when you actually spawn one of these, you see a trail of particles that come down, and then some preemptive kind of blocks that crash into the ground, and then you get the main event, which you can't actually see. And what the hell is going on with these pigs today? Look at that, it's just like stopped um, like destroying some of the grass blocks on top, and we've just got a pig here. Now I can finally do it. This is... Oh, I didn't get to finish it. Bye, piggy. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, then. So down here, we've actually got the main meteor. And the meteor is made out of obsidian. It's covered. It's actually got loads of ores inside of it. In fact, if you go down to the center, there's actually diamond ore in there. So it's very valuable to actually find these and then mine the ores inside of them. Of course, you do have to mine straight through uh, solid obsidian to actually get to the center. And look at this. It's got tons of lava in here as well. But if you do get to the center, there are some diamond ore blocks. So you can get those. Uh, what's actually this ore? What is this ore? Uh, I think that's a um, biomes of plenty or just ignore that <laughs> uh, but yeah so they crash into the ground make a massive um, debris trail and crater look at this and it kind of distorts the ground a bit I mean we've got some blocks that are just randomly floating 
We've just got a massive meteor that's crashed into the ground. And yeah, they come in different sizes again. So some of these can be tiny, some of them can be huge. <laughs> See, it's just a bit of like luck uh, if you're going to get a small one or a huge one. Of course, if you're playing this in vanilla and you've made a lovely house, you're trying to hope for none of these to spawn at all or a small one to spawn. You don't really want a huge one to go crashing into your house and destroy everything you've made. <laughs> So, next up we have the Volcano, and I left this till last because it just takes so long to generate. What it basically does is it just recreates the whole process of the formation of a volcano. So, it's like a mountain forming in the ground. It's just brilliant. But anyway, I'm just going to spawn this down now. And you can see the first stage is going to start making like the core of the volcano here. We've got obsidian spawning, and it's going to start making the edges of the volcano as well. So, you can see we've got some stone walls here with some obsidian mixed in. And then eventually it's going to actually start spawning some lava in the center. So, this is actually a very long process and it does spawn some ores as well in the sides of the volcano. So again you can use this for mining if you actually come across one of these or one of them spawns. But it is very destructive and the radius of these volcanoes is huge. I mean this is probably going to spread out miles even into the ocean. It's amazingly big. And also you can start getting these um, smoke particle effects um, which spawn above the volcano as it gets hotter and hotter and stuff like that. And yeah it gets a lot more intense when you actually get the um, lava spawning. But what I'm going to do now is just do a quick time lapse because it's the most effective way of actually showing you what this thing does. You can just imagine if you spawn this in a city, what devastation this is going to cause. And poor cow, it's dying. Ah, those cows in the center, that they, they have no chance. They're just going to be burned and we're going to get some lovely cooked beef. But yeah, time lapse time. So it's pretty much finished growing now and you can see we've got a massive lava lake in the centre. We've got lava cascading down the sides of the volcano and we've got this massive plume of smoke that's rising up and seems to be travelling in that direction. And it's also throwing out rocks and molten um, stuff. <laughs> it's everywhere. It's insane. It's starting to erupt. Look at it. Wow. And yeah, eventually the lava will actually rise and get higher up and all the walls will start getting lava in them as well and the eruptions are going to get more and more violent as the thing grows. But I just love this um, plume of smoke that's coming up and the way that it keeps going. The wind direction must be coming this way and just blowing all the smoke that way. I didn't even know Minecraft has wind, but you know, it obviously does. Look at these eruptions, it's just firing out blocks everywhere. Love this thing. Also, I'd like to note the actual extent of this volcano. It's huge. It's even extended right out of this forest over here. And there's obsidian everywhere. You're never going to be able to clean that up. Not even with a um, efficiency 5 diamond pick are you ever going to be able to clean up this mess. So if this spawns in the middle of your town that you've created, you could probably say bye-bye to that town because there's just no going back from this volcano. And look down here. We've got a colony of pigs. Hello, pigs. Why are you always where there's disasters? There's always a disaster where there's pigs. It's kind of insane. Poor pigs have no grass anymore. And these eruptions are still continuing, <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much what these volcanoes do. You're going to see more and more eruptions as the volcano grows, but I think it has pretty much stopped growing now, uh, but it's still going to keep erupting. Um, so yeah, that's the volcano natural disaster. But now, the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm going to swap over to a city map or a town map, and I'm going to start using it on some actual buildings and see the devastation we can cause. So, I've just decided to swap over to the GTA San Andreas Minecraft map recreation because it's got some lovely suburban areas with some small little houses which are perfect for being destroyed by natural disasters. I am such an evil human being. But yeah, so we've got a little bungalow kind of thing here, one story house, and we're just going to go inside of it. And I think we're going to use, let me see, uh, sinkhole. That seems good. Let's demolish this house with a sinkhole. Wow, look at that. It's just destroyed the whole house. It, all the blocks are just cascading down into the center of it. It's just massive destruction. Look at this thing. There's none of the house left. Everything's just been destroyed. I don't know what happened to the blocks actually. They've just like evaporated into thin air. Is that house next to us safe? Probably not. Look at that. It's just stopped perfectly in the boundaries. Look at that. It's stopped here and there right before the wall. That's just so perfect. You <laughs> wow. Anyway, look at that. We've got the massive lava lake at the bottom. No remnants of the house are left at all. There's just nothing left. Wow.
I think we're going to use another one of these on the house next door. Actually, no. What we're going to use on this next house is a meteor. So let's just go up to the top where the chimneys are. I'm just going to use this meteor. Which direction is it going to come from? Oh, here it is. Wow, we've got like a smoke trail that's coming in. Particle trail. It's just going to crash in. Wow. Okay, where's the meteor landed? Uh, where is it? Okay, down there. So it's gone all the way across there, diagonally, straight through the actual house. Look at it. There's just bits and bobs of the house left everywhere. There's not actually a structure that you can recognize as a house. There's just blocks that have randomly been left, and some blocks that have been destroyed. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but, you know, they can still cook. They've got a furnace. The bed's been destroyed, so they can't really sleep. But, you know, there's a piston. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not much is left of this house at all. It's just been decimated by that meteor. <laughs> you can imagine if you're in your um, single player world and you've just made this lovely house and then one of these meteors crashes down on you, you're not going to be too happy because of course these meteors and dis other disasters are more likely to spawn around you than randomly in the world so if you're spending a lot of time in your house there is a big chance that one of these meteors is going to crash into it eventually. So yeah, be careful. You might want to build a house and then move on quickly and don't go back to it ever again. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the meteor one. What should we use next? I think we're going to use another the sinkhole. Uh, yep, over here on this house. It's a nice it's a nice little villa, this kind of thing. Uh, we've got a bed upstairs, and the glasses seem to be uh, destroyed. I don't know how that happened. Uh, it seems like someone's already broke in. <laughs> uh, but let's just use this. Actually, let's try it on top of the house, so we can actually get a better view of this. I'm presuming it's going to destroy all the houses around it as well. There we go. It's slowly get being disintegrated. All the blocks are falling into the hole down there, and the bed's gone. No! Where are they going to sleep now? <laughs> <laughs> the destruction. It's horrible when you think about it. It probably had families living there, families of villagers, uh, but they have no house now because it's just been ruined by this sinkhole. <laughs> this one's a lot bigger than the other one, I get the feeling. And for some reason we've got the sun's glare down there. We've just got the sky below the ground. <laughs> of course, too many chunk updates. It can't keep up with the actual generation of the world here. But there we go, we've got a massive lava lake at the bottom, and we've just destroyed everything. We've destroyed the house next door, we've destroyed that house. Well, actually, some of it remains. Let's see if we can get inside this thing. Let's just hop up here. Yes. But look at this. It's just ruined. Well, the table survived. That's good. The kitchen. Oh, the, f the front of the fridge has fallen off. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Uh, I think that's the least of their worries, their fridge door falling off. But yep, so the kitchen's still in place. Uh, can you actually go upstairs? Well, there's a bedroom here, double bed still intact. But there's no real way of going up to the next floor. And that house, I can officially say, is a bit ruined. And again, there's always a pig by disaster. It just happens. There's always a pig there. I don't know why, it's just always a pig. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, what should we use next? Okay, let's use the earthquake. So, um, uh, swap to the earthquake. And let's find a decent location to actually use this thing. So I think I'm going to use it over here. We've got like some kind of factory and some houses, some residential areas and also a shop. So let's use it, I don't know, on top of uh, this building here and see what happens. Um, and before we do this, I just realized that to actually simulate the shaking, because the mod doesn't do it, I could just install my shader pack that I've got called Jenny Shaders. Look at this, earthquake mode activated. <laughs> but let's just activate the earthquake. Here we go. We're going to get a ravine that's going to start opening up and destroying everything in the area. And I think the best place to actually see this would actually just be standing standing here and looking down into the hole as it generates <laughs> and make sure it doesn't swallow me in as well. <laughs> Look at this, it's just opening up a ravine and we've got the realistic shaking of these shaders as well. Uh, very realistic. Oh, you can use shaders for everything, even simulating earthquakes when the mod doesn't do it for you. <laughs> uh, we've even got, I've just realised now there's actually particles in this ravine. I don't know what they're coming from, maybe a lava at the bottom. Uh, but look at this, it's just devastation. We've ruined everything in the area. We've got a massive ravine that's just cut up everything. The buildings have been cut in half. We've got half a house now, another half a house. Why has it got furnaces as floors? don't really understand that. Um, this map was probably designed for a texture pack which retextures furnaces. Oh, but don't worry, we've still got a wither skull and a plant pot here. <laughs> okay, is it still going? It's still going. Wow. Okay then, it's still opening up. We're still destroying this factory here. Uh, it's a bit of a barren factory. No one seems to be working here. There's nothing inside of it. Oh, it's crazy. The amount of lag this is causing. <laughs> Too many block updates. Wow. Oh dear. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Look at that painting jiggle up and down. That was such a powerful earthquake that not even my computer could handle it. Look at the size of this thing. We've got a massive lava lake at the bottom. I don't think I've even seen one this big. Wow. It's just decimated everything here. 
Although, at least the painting's still up. Look, we've still got the pig painting. That's always good. And what I was saying before, before the game actually crashed on me, is that if we swap to the uh, jelly shaders here, look at this painting. It just like bobs up and down. Look at it. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> it's just so good. It's a bouncing pig. And again, supporting my idea. There's always a pig by disaster, even if it's in a painting. <laughs> but let's just swap back to normal shaders. And if you're wondering what shaders I'm using and you keep asking in the comments, there's your answer. Uh, I use tons of them. But in this case, I'm using Silder's vibrant shaders but look at this I've just ruined the whole area <laughs> just cut the factory in half got a massive um, lava like river at the bottom now but at least their storage chest is still here if they had any items in there it all still be good but they don't have any items in there <laughs> oh I don't know what disaster I'm gonna use next I don't think anything could top the devastation of that well actually I lie we've got the volcano to still to test out on the city so we're gonna find our location for that and spawn down a volcano so, I've decided I'm going to test out this volcano in the shopping district and I'm um, by an ambulance which is kind of fitting because we're going to need loads of these ambulances after this volcano's finished with this town. Um, so let's just go over here. Uh, I don't know where to spawn it. Maybe uh, here, in the middle of the crossroad. Let's just go there. Actually, it's a T-junction, but it's some, it's something. Anyway, so we've got some obsidian that's spawning now, and we're suddenly going to start it to see it growing the walls of the volcano. It's erupting kind of through the shops. Look at this. Wow, and then it's going to spread outwards and everything's going to be turned to obsidian. It's going to be mayhem. And again, I'm going to have to do a time lapse for this because it's just going to take too long. Wow. Okay then, so it's going to slowly start destroying everything. We're going to get lava there. It's just making a complete mess of everything. So let's just do a time lapse scenario because those are the best. And I get to put some cool music over it as well, so why not? So here we go, I think it's pretty much done with generating, we've got massive lava pool in the centre, so much more lava than the other one I showed earlier, I mean look how deep this thing goes, wow, <laughs> look at it, actually if you glitch down here, look how deep it goes, it's made a massive crater under the ground, we've got a massive lava pool that goes right down to like obsidian down there, it's like the biggest volcano I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh, I didn't expect to spawn this something this big. It's just massive. Uh, it doesn't seem to be very explosive though. I haven't had any eruptions yet. There's no blocks flying everywhere. It just seems to have a load of lava and a massive like um, lava chamber down below. Look at that. Straight down. <laughs> it's crazy. I, d I didn't even know it did that. It's made a massive crater below where it's just all filled with lava. It's insane. But yep, so that's what happens if you spawn a volcano in the middle of a town. It's just ruined everything. I mean, some of the shops have survived, although there does seem to be an abnormal amount of obsidian everywhere. <laughs> There's just obsidian everywhere, it's just ruined everything. I don't suppose that jungle um, biome is going to be uh, living much longer. It's not going to have any grass there for the trees to grow on. But yep, so I don't suggest, um, like, spawning one of these volcanoes in the middle of a town. It just ruins everything. Although you can have a lovely swimming pool of lava, if you really want to have some, um, <laughs> leisurely swimming in lava sometime with your fire resistance. But look at that thing. It's insane. So, I think I'm just going to wrap up this video now. Thank you for watching. I've shown you what these disasters do and what can happen if you actually unleash them on a town and ruin houses. I think my favourite has to go to the sinkhole because it's just so cool when you just spawn a sinkhole on a house and the whole house just disappears into the sinkhole. It's just so fun to do. But if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to press that like button. It really does help out. And I'll be seeing you next mod showcase. And as always, thank you for watching.